Chanel Efficient Totin Machine. The Parabellum MG14. And the Parabellum MG14 was a 7 by 9 mm caliber World War I machine gun built by Duchess Woven and Machining Fabrique. It was a redesign of the Machine Gewehr or 8 machine gun, itself an adaption of the Maxim gun system intended for use on aircraft and zeppelins that lose a toggle action that broke upwards rather than downwards opposite the Machine Gewehr or 8, making for a much more compact receiver. The breech block was completely different and the spent cartridges dropped from the bottom of the receiver rather than being ejected forward through the hold under the breech from the receiver. The recoil casing was lightened and the cooling jacket was modified for the air instead of water cooling. The rate of fire was 700 rounds per minute. The belt was reduced to 30 millimeters in width. An MG14 was used in the early developments of the German version of the gun synchronized gear by Anthony Fokka. The MG14 was used in the first versions of the Pioneer Fokka Stungstorung synchronizer of the 5 Fokka M5K machine gewehr pre-production prototypes for the Fokka E1. But as the limited supplies of the weapon were more urgently needed for observers in reconnaissance aircraft and defensive gunners aboard zeppelins and heavier than air bombers, as well as its temperamental nature as used on the M5K machine gewehr. As noted by Otto Paschal, it's worth your flexible Montegrin reverse bonding die combination Osgamin Galich Unhuer Forut Binchon Nulich Wa. It was reversed for flexible mounts, where its combination of lightweight and high rate of fire were most useful. The MG14 and following MG1417 did make one important contribution to the Fitz Ford firing LMG08 and LMG0815 in that their 30mm Wyckoff ammunition belt was compatible with those weapons as the Fitz Ford firing guns, new Fitz ammunition feed guides, and if surviving photographs are to be used as a reference, the belts were exclusively used by the Duchess Luffenkraft for the Fitz Ford firing guns. The belts can be readily identified by the two Gomots instead of the three used by the Wather MG08 and MG0815 belts that were used by the ground forces and the lack of an extended brass tank, also used by the MG08 and MG0815 ground guns. This not only reduces the weight and bulk, but it also allows for much lighter and smaller empty belt shells that came out of all LMG08 and LMG0815s and led into the storage bin in the aircraft. And these three versions survive until this day, a water-cooled, an air-cooled, and a 1417 version with a 3 times telescopic sight. Speed, Agility, the Kaiser's Buzzsaw, the Parabellum MG08. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. The mic seems to be weird now, a bit more volume, but um, as long as it recalls, we're all good. Anyway, hope you enjoy. sorry for the volume boost, um, but 10k boys. Oh, whoops, that, that's a spike, sorry. 10k boys, we made it. Hopefully it's just a glitch, and when I take it out it should return to normal, but um, if anything I would reduce the decibels on this part and call it a day. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video. Two people next time, or oh, Iconic Gun, uh, thinking about doing the C96, maybe? Uh, that's going to be one video though, so don't get your hopes up for two videos, that's, that's one video guys. That's going to be one. All iconic guns, one, one, one video, no, no more. And what I mean, like one video for the day, not one video and no more iconic arms. Because everything Germany's going to bust out in this season, pretty iconic. Even though Rights Revolver has a little place in history. Yep, let's see who's at it first. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. 10k, another 10 more. Parabellum Kaiser's Buzzsaw. Yeah, I'm getting good with this rhyming skit. I'm getting really good with this rhyming gig, so it's not going to be bad. I'm going to be a rapper soon, trust me. Anyway, guys, hope you learned something. Peace out. See you later. See you next time. But also pass you, maybe. Maybe Hitler. Maybe. Maybe. Stop rhyming. Learn something. Later.